Hello everyone, today is November 30th, 2020 and I'm going to be making the pizza. So I've got the dough, it's been rested for 24 hours or actually a little bit more. But yeah, so before we actually uh, make the pizza, we need to sprinkle some flour just to make sure the dough doesn't stick to the surface you're working on. Um, as you can see, I've already put it on here with just some wheat flour and here's the dough been rested, like I said, for a little bit more than 24 hours, but there it is, yeah, okay. Oh crap, yeah, <laughs> I was going to put that on there, why not? Alright, so dough, I'm going to use this side as the top. Because it's gonna be covered with sauce and cheese, and yeah, not really good at doing this, but I'm just gonna see if I can sort of make a circle shape. Or like a rough shape, and then as soon as it's like rough enough, I can probably put it down. I'm seeing a little bit thin in the center, but I'll put it down right now. So, our dough is kind of moist right now because because of the olive oil. I'm just gonna try to make that as joined as I can. Just gonna do that. Forming the crust out here, hello Fluffy, I need to, I mean she doesn't really, uh, gone. she doesn't really like touching the food or anything, she just likes chilling there, over here, just like looking, I'm making the crust now, I mean she can't eat anything on here, because there's not any like fish, meat or anything like that. It's just going to be a margarita pizza, so it's going to be with like just cheese, tomato sauce in, <laughs> and basil. Alright, I'm going to take this up. Try to make it as thin as I can, but not to the point where it, like it's this thin, probably like this thin, probably like, I don't know, what is, what is this centimeter look like? It's probably. I'd say half a centimeter thick. She all right? Yeah, I think she's all right. Well, that is that is a really that is really thin at the center now because of the hole there. And like, try to make sure it all. I want to use this. She didn't touch this, so don't worry. Just take some flour. Yep. I'm just gonna roll the pizza dough. Make it as perfect as I can. I watched this video that said. You want your pizza to be as thin as if you can see light through it. So I can't really see light quite through. It looks like we need more flour. A little bit more. Yeah, crap. Dropped a little bit, and it's still, still tearing in the center. Oh, this might take a while. Obviously, can't be too long, or else our oven is going to be too hot. I mean, that's kind of good if it's hot, but then it means we have to put in for a short amount of time. 
actually, I think that's too thin. Only on the center, but like, yeah, I need it like this. It's too thick, but it's really thin in the center, and I don't really know. I can. Do, I think I'll turn it around to see how everything is on the other side. Ooh, that actually looks nice on the other side. Need more flour. Put a lot more next time. Alright. Alright. So I saw the point where I was tearing from. Oh, and Pluffy's gone to examine closer. I mean, she won't go on the thing. She's just gonna. She's like sniffing around. More cats do, I'm pretty sure. And just uh, do this here. This is. I, I, I hate this all the time. I was like this one, any type of dough. It's because of the air pockets. This is starting to be really thin. I can actually feel it. It's going to be like a really nice thickness. I think that's pretty good, actually. So, like, yeah, you can start to see light. Ooh. Oh, and that sound you hear in the background is our oven because of the timer. It's quite big. How big is a pan? Okay, so I'm making a very rough circle, but it seems to be turning out pretty well. So, yeah, it's gonna be a flat. The, the edge, though, the crust. I wanna make. I wanna get that like crust shape, you know, but I'm not, not really sure how to do that. I'm gonna flip this around. All right, this is probably gonna be our the underside of our. Pizza, no. Let's put the griddle at the end. Yeah, I definitely need more. I feel like I'm making this too big, but honestly, kinda. Let's see. Yeah, barely fits in there. Might have to spread it out a bit. I don't want to make a square pizza or anything, like a rectangle one. Mm, an oval one though. Don't know about that. I mean, it's too late to cut it in half. I mean, we could, but like, It'll take more time to cook. I think we'll just sit with this. All right, now time to work on the just finishing up the crust there. I'm gonna try folding it in. Make it thin and folding it in. Hopefully that turns out well after we cook it. The next thing we have to do is put the tomato sauce on and the cheese. This might be too thick. Oh. oh well. At least we're cutting down on the like thickness, not thickness, the uh, wideness of it, this pizza, and the length. Well. And evenly distribute dough. Hmm. Puffy sniffing the basil. 
bit more down on the side, but I'm gonna have to let that slide. This the class on this isn't actually doesn't look that good, but for the first pizza, it's alright. Because we have another um we have another I don't know blob of dough in this container which we're gonna use to make the second pizza. But this is the first one. So uh sauce. Sauce time. Alright. We don't really have any like things to yeah, I can't open this. Yeah, we're gonna put sauce in the like right now. 